Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Today's practice problem is very straightforward. The simple mnemonic you need to remember for this kind of a practice problem is to remember an ox red cat. At the anode, oxidation occurs and reduction occurs at the cathode. And the reason I decided to make an MCAT question of the day on such a simple question is that I want to reinforce the idea that this is always the case. Whether you're dealing with an electrolytic cell or a galvanic cell, it's always the case. A lot of students think that when you go from a galvanic cell to an electrolytic cell, it flips. But that's not the case. The charges might change on the anode versus cathode, but the fact that oxidation is occurring at the anode and reduction is occurring at the cathode is always the case. It remains the same. And if you really want to get a better idea of galvanic versus electrolytic cells, I'd highly recommend my 10 Most Commonly Missed Concepts course. I have an entire lesson devoted to that topic. It's a topic that a lot of students struggle with, and so I really like to map it out clearly in terms of what are the properties of a galvanic cell versus an electrolytic cell. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I'll see you next time.